Hey friends, welcome back to a new Tableau tutorial. Today I'd like to show you an interesting way how you can visualize data for the aviation industry in Tableau. So to do this, I need to open Tableau, which I've already done, and then I need to connect to my file. In my case, it is a text file, so a CSV file, so I can simply check this here, and then I choose my flight data. That's this file here. I can double click on it, and then Tableau just connects to the data and shows me here a preview. So let me just make this smaller here, and then let's have a look. So this contains data for various, in this case, uh, airline industries, or airlines in this case, when it also contains data regarding the destination, so where exactly do we want to fly to, and also the origin or source, which is this one here, which is the source, in this case airport, from which we fly. And beside this, we need very important, of course, some kind of geographical data. So we need destination, latitude and longitude, and also for the source, um, we need also the latitude and the longitude. So far, so good. Now let me just get, click on sheet, let's just go to my, in this case, first sheet, and now let's create uh, the data we need. Because we need to apply a few calculations in Tableau, and one of them is uh, we need to create basically geographical data. So probably you know that uh, by default, Tableau creates latitude and longitude whenever it finds some geographical fields, that is true. But in this case, we have basically a latitude and longitude for the destination, which is here, and we have the same for the source, which is here. And with these two fields, we can create basically a point in Tableau, which we then can use in order to plot the data. So to do this, let's actually click here and go to create calculated field. Let me make this bigger. And let's call this, maybe this is our source. And the source is simply, in this case, the make point function. So make point needs two numbers in order to create a geographical location. So basically a geographical point. And we use the source latitude in this case, and also the source longitude. Uh, longitude, here it is. And then we simply call it source or whatever you want to name you want to give it. And then basically you can see that the calculation is valid. So we click OK and now we have our source. And we do exactly the same for destination. So go in here, create calculate field. Let's call this destination, destination. Click on here, I zoom in a little bit. And then I can say I want to make a point, make a point. And then I need again my two fields. In this case, I need the longitude, uh, the latitude and the longitude. So in this case, let me just drag latitude inside. You can also do that instead of typing it and do the same for the longitude in here. And we are good to go, calculation is valid. Click OK, and now we have our two dots. So far, so good. Now, let's actually now create a visualization. But before we do this, one additional thing, of course, we need to connect the destination and source. So currently we have two dots, but there's no connection. And in order to plot a line, we need this connection between destination and source. So the two fields we have created. So let me click here and say create calculate field. And this will be our route. And for this route, we simply say we want to use the make line function. And the make line function needs a start and an end. Well, the start, of course, is the source. So this is where we uh, start our trip. And then, of course, the destination here is where we end our trip, so our goal. And we can see that is valid. So far, so good. Click OK. And now we also got our route. Next, now let's actually visualize something. Let's say I want to see my uh, source. So I go with source here. Let's say, uh, in this case, source city. Let me double click here. And then I can see here my source city. In this case, uh, these are cities in Germany because Germany simply is my, in this case, uh, start where I want to start my journey. And uh, then I also like to add maybe a few additional fields. Let's also use the source country. Let's also drag this into detail so far so good. And uh, before I do this source country, let's actually maybe see that now we got all the dates here. Let's actually filter this down to one specific country. And here I stick to uh, Germany, but of course you could do this for any country. So let me drag this into the filter area and then say for the countries, I'm going with Germany. Click on this and now I got my original map again. Okay, so what this of course allows us then to 
if you take a look show the filter we could of course choose any other kind of source country if you want to do that let me trick the multiple value drop down let me also best practice here uh, go to customize and say show apply button okay so next i want to actually uh, duplicate the field here so i'm going here with my latitude like that and then i want to make sure that in this case for the second one here i don't need the source city and source country i actually want to have the destinations so i could replace those i could simply search for where's my destination so there's destination city and country so let me actually drag the destination city maybe in here and the destination country also in here and get rid of the source here and now we can see we got all the dots here for our destination and here are the dots for our source so next i need to go to my first one here and i actually want to don't have the source in here i want to display the route so you can use the route and drag the route into detail and now you can see that we already got all the lines here starting in this case from germany and we obviously see these are a lot of lines now let's actually do the following let's actually go in here and say we want to create a dual axis like that okay so that's the first thing and next uh, because there are so many lines at first i'd like to actually go to my first option here and say for the size of the lines i want to make this a little bit smaller so now it's easier to see at least from my point of view and the second thing is i don't want to see this for all the airlines i have because i have a lot of airlines in this data set and maybe i'd like to give my end consumer here the option actually if i search for airline up there and drag this into the filter i can see a lot of airlines in here right and then maybe i want to choose only a certain airline so if i for now use all click ok but then i'm going inside click on show filter so i have my filter in here and I also modify this say uh, in this case customize let me show the apply button let's also go in here and say multi value drop down and now let me just select one airline so let's just see uh, if i would use the first one what does it look like click apply and obviously there is no data for that so let me just go in here and remove this and let's choose one airline where i know there is data which is lh um so this one here so oh, let me just first exclude everything and then let me use lh uh, select it here click apply and then you can see that now we got a lot less but still a lot of connections in here a lot of routes and this would tell me okay based on germany here for instance i can see all the various routes uh, so where's my source city source country i could also of course use destination here and drag the destination uh maybe destination airport or destination airport name or destination city also of course into the details that would also uh, in the tooltip also be possible so just to have a little bit more information about that okay here obviously more information simply because it's the star but probably you get the point right so um, i have the option using uh, make point to create a source point and also a destination point and based on my selection then i can create with make line function those in this case lines and I can connect my start point and my destination and can visualize here my data for the aviation industry for various well sources for various airlines and so on and that's it basically and this allows me then to visualize the data and plot the information I need maybe the how many or how often actually was the flight on time maybe that could be an interesting insight right or how much uh, well um, gasoline or whatever call them is spent uh, during this flight uh, how many customers have i transported during a certain time period with these flights are these routes actually making us money or are we losing money on those routes and so on so all these insights could now be of course further investigated and of course the findings can then be visualized inside tableau so that's it for this video hopefully that was interesting to you if so please give this video a like and please also consider subscribing to the channel because i really hope that this channel grows which allows me then to make further videos, which hopefully help you in your daily work. So thanks a lot, take care, and see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.